All right, well, hi, I'm Kieran. In this video today, I'm gonna be creating this smoky burgundy eye look. Uh, what's funny is I had recently watched a video with Iris and she created this smoky burgundy look and I was like, ooh, that is so pretty, but I don't have the pencil, I don't have the eyeshadow. Like the things she was using, I was like, I don't have them. So in my mind, I kind of was like, okay, I need to get I need to get these things, you know what I mean? But it wasn't until I was sitting and going through my makeup collection the other day as I was doing a look that I pulled out this palette and I saw the colors that were in it. And I'm like, you know what, what is going on? I have the color, you know? Like I have the burgundies and the purples and all these pretty shades in these, you know, last two rows here. And I'm thinking, I'm, I'm gonna create this look. And yeah, if you want to learn some new techniques that I just recently learned, or maybe you probably already know them, let's just go ahead and jump into this video. She bushy eyebrow. Got a little funny business going right there. Probably some dry, yeah, it's, it's like a dry skin forming. Mm, I tell you, boy, this weather shift, not games. In this video today, I want to do a burgundy look. It's just kind of what's kind of be on my mind. And of course, yeah, I'm wearing a magic outfit. Why not? Let me let me let me play with it and see what I can come up with. And then I thought about another green look. I was like, I want to do in my head after seeing Jacqueline Hill. I was like, I gotta see if I can recreate it. As usual, I'm moisturizing one of my eyes with the Derma E, and then the other eye with the Pericone MD. So what I do want to say is I have noticed, and just looking at it today, I do notice a difference in this portion looking more like the rest of the area around here. You know what I mean? Not including pores. That's why I'm like over here. It, it does look more like it and I'm going to have to continue doing this. I will say this, the Derma E definitely, it's thinner. It definitely dries down like all the way. This one on the other hand, the Pericom ND, it actually stays moist. So if you have issues with dry eye, I honestly think I don't know yet, I don't know yet, but I'm thinking that this would be the better choice. But if you have oily skin and maybe you're really, really oily and you don't like your makeup slipping, then maybe you wanna go with the Derma E. I'm glad I did this, because I honestly, I would not have known the difference in using this. I just would've been like, okay, I'm using this and, because I have nothing else to compare it to. That's how we start in the video? Yes, it is. All right, so moving on. I wanna get my face moist before moisturizing my face. So whatever I put on will really absorb into the skin. It's kind of like when you get out of the shower and your skin is still wet and you put lotion on or you put oil on, like you really feel like you're really moisturized versus you dry your skin and then put the lotion on. It feels like you're struggling to spread it. I hope that makes sense. Mm, I need to tweeze my eyebrows, y'all. Oh, and then one more thing. While we at it, can only show love to the under eye area. Let's show some love over here. All right, and I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Primer. Now, the other day, it looked like it smoothed it out, but after I applied on the foundation, I wasn't really sold on that. So I wanna test it out and see if it's even worth me using this, because it does look blurred like after you put it on, but I don't know, maybe it was putting the foundation on and put, you know what I mean? Like putting the products on top of it that really made it maybe come off maybe, I don't know. It's not doing its thing, then I'm just gonna stop using it. No point in continuing to use something, you know, it's not work on. All right, let me just go ahead and do my brows so we can jump into this look. I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil in Medium Brown. And I do have to say that I like, um, what was the other one I used? It was the L'Oreal. I like the formula. I just like the idea of it being, it it's so easy for you to do your brows. Um, using something that's shaped like this. I think, I, I don't know, maybe I didn't run back to it because I didn't feel like paying for it. <laughs> I don't know. This one, the formula is definitely different. Um, I think it's, it looks better once you use it with some kind of brow powder. I, I personally don't like it by itself. The L'Oreal one, I definitely liked it by itself. I'm gonna be using a True Complexion HD Corrector in light medium to clean up my brows and use as a base. You know what, I have this other concealer. Let me pull these guys out. If I don't put them over here, I'm not gonna use them. This is not the thickest concealer. So if you want something that's like thickly pigmented, this is not it. If you don't mind a little transparency, which I personally don't, at least not for cleaning up my brows anyway. I'm gonna be using the Beast Cosmetics Studio Pro 
concealer and this is in 113 and i've been thinking about using this because one it's so much more thicker um really help like colors pop and it of course it's sitting in my collection so i need to like use it before it expires you know what i mean yeah so on the lid yes i don't mind using this at all you know something i noticed the other day um I noticed that my eyes have not been watering and I don't know, it kind of just made me wonder if it has something to do with maybe me switching up my concealer. Um, I don't know, I just thought about it because I had on like a lot of eye makeup and I was like, wow, you know what's interesting? My eyes are not watering. What am I doing different? I don't know if any of y'all ever encountered that. All right, so I'm gonna go in this color. All right, you know what? I'm gonna kind of just mix things up a bit. So my idea in my head was I want to create a burgundy, a smoky burgundy look, but let's just see what happens. All right, so let's go in. And I'm gonna say something. I want to say something about this palette here, um, because I went back to try to use a, a matte from a older ColourPop palette, the Rose, um, what was it, the Femme Rosa? Now I want to say like the mattes in this thing blend awesome. I don't know if it's just me that has a struggle with ColourPop, even though I've learned, you know, it's all about the placement and all that great stuff and how you place it on. But I just, some shadows just, I don't know. Let's put a little bit of spicy. Why not? I, I guess maybe because I like how buildable this eyeshadow palette is. I think that's what it is. I think I like how buildable it is. Having to like struggle with it or having all the color go on at once and then it's really like difficult to blend or have it look nice and neat. All right, let's let's let's, let's just not be afraid to go in. Let, let's go in. So I'm gonna practice something that I saw the other day. I was watching the new Jaclyn Hill video that was uploaded and she was talking about this Stacey Marie palette. And I was like, who's Stacey Marie? Who's Be Perfect? So I went and looked it up and I went on YouTube, just searching and here it is, I'm watching her and her technique and I'm like, wow, let me try something different. I was like, maybe this will help me in whatever it is I'm doing. So we're gonna be different. I'm going in with the Femme Rosa palette, this one right here from ColourPop, going in with this color. And I'm just gonna take my time and do this. This was a process. I was watching this video and I was like, this was a process. I don't know how wearable this is gonna be, but you know, goal is to step outside my comfort zone, right? And what I noticed about her technique too is she spent a lot of time stippling the, co the color on and blending a lot of time. So I think one of the things I struggle with is getting my, um, get my looks to look smoky past like my lid point. And I'm like, okay, I need to work on that. So after seeing that, it was like, okay, it makes sense. Cause I'm usually in a rush, but I'm usually like pat, 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 done. Like I'm not trying to spend a whole bunch of time like working on the look, you know what I mean? And it was funny. Like I was thinking to myself, ooh, I want a purple look. Cause I was looking at, I believe her name is Iris. I was looking at her doing a burgundy look that she did with some MAC shadows. And I was like, was that MAC shadow? Or was it just a MAC liner? Probably was just a MAC liner. I was like, ooh, that is so pretty. I was like, oh, I gotta buy me some burgundy eyeshadow. It wasn't until I like actually looked at my collection later on that had nothing to do with looking for burgundy eyeshadow. I was like, duh, you have it. It's like, you are tripping. Like, how about you spend some time fall in love with what you already got? All right, let's switch up the brush. Let's go back to fresh. All right, let's get another color. Let's go in with the pinky tone so we can try to blend out the edges. And what it looked like, it looked like they kept blending into like what was like already existing. It was very, very interesting. Like it just, it took a lot of just patience. Cause I feel like once you realize you're just blending color into color into color into color, just the blending alone, like they were able to successfully make it look blended. So eventually if a color is similar to it or lighter or you working on the gradient, eventually it's gonna blend in. And I was like, I was kind of intrigued by that. I was like, you know, this isn't, I don't wanna say it wasn't artsy, but it was just, it was like math. One plus one equals two and so on and so on. So to me, it was like, wow, if you do this, this is gonna be the outcome. So it was like, wow. You know, I was just amazed by it. That's just me. So yeah, it may look like I'm like just repeating steps and 
doing it over and 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 over. But it worked. Let's go back to Fresh from the Elf palette. I mean, that's literally what was going on the whole entire time. It was like blending back and forth, same color. It's not as lazy as I would like it to be. Let me flip back to one of my favorite brushes. <gasps> that I just washed. No. I gotta get some more shape brushes like this. This is the Zoeva dupe brush. Actually, I'm gonna switch up and go in with this purple color. I, I like using brushes like this because I just feel like they help shape the eye so much. It just kind of like helps me to cheat, if you will. All right, I'm gonna go above my crease a little bit so we can get some lid face creation. All right, now we gotta go back in the crease. Let's go back to the burgundy color. All right. I'm not blending it. Like I said, what I noticed with her, it was a lot of stippling, which is my thing. I'm like, we is talking business. I feel like I know what I'm doing already. Yeah, let's go to the purple. Freaking. Let me reapply the, um, what's gonna call it? It doesn't look like it's the shadow is adhering. Ain't nobody got time for eyeshadow in that eyeball. Going back in with a BH Cosmetics. Well, you know what? I probably should have, I'm gonna use this stick right here. This is from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. No Budge. Yeah, I should have used this. Ugh. All right, let me be gentle. All right, I put it on my waterline as well. This is in the color Metallic Mocha. It's like a burgundy-ish metallic color. Do, 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 do. Well, I should have thought about using it as a base on the lid. I'm telling you, I love pencils. Like pencils is like an easy way to cheat. Switching colors to the burgundy. It's an easy way to cheat, like, and get stuff to stick on and just to have more color payoff and finish your look quicker. I'm gonna switch to the smaller brushes, the Firma 201. And I'm gonna go in with this pink color on the end just to blend out the edges. Maybe I should smoke it out with the burgundy. Let's do that. Bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Whoa, this is very, very dramatic. I don't think I've done a bottom smoky lid that was this smoky ever in my life. I mean, maybe I, I maybe I had some accidents. <laughs> this is looking very smoky. I like it though, I like it. You know, I do kind of like this color that's in here, but I don't think it's very burgundy-ish, which is this color called Bold. Let me, um, it's not necessarily burgundy. I would say it's a mix of copper and a burgundy tone, but probably more copper for sure. And then I thought about going with the pop of pink from the Perception palette, this one right here. That might also be really nice. Ooh, a bunch of these colors could really look good. I think this one could go look good. Strut and Slate would look really good. I don't know how I feel about Sassy. That might not be a bad color. Even the green might not be a bad color because you know green and red complement each other and cancel each other out. Makeup struggles, huh? And then of course, you know, there's beautiful shades in this palette as well, especially like this color or this one. Actually, it's the same color, just about. The elf is on the top there and the bottom one is ColourPop. Yeah, so the ColourPop one is just a little bit brighter, definitely more orange base. Elf one is a bit more muted. I'm going with this color. Oh, and if you don't turn out right, I can always do a different color. You know what? I think this was just perfect. So it doesn't take me too far out of the the burgundy zone, you know what I mean? And if you want more of a pop, you can always do concealer, but I'm wanting more of that natural look, not that sculpted look. All right, let's try to fix this. We're gonna try to get that color up there to the crease and then, you know, blend the edges when you're done. All right, let's do a little bit of a, there we go. Toner spray, there you are. Well, y'all, I saw the cutest thing the other day. Like, I'm over here, fan it, fan it, fan it, fan it, fan it. And then I saw this, what's her name? Allie, is it Allie G Jeans? Jeans? Gain? Gain? Hmm. Vine Gain. I don't know if it's Allie Gaines. Maybe I'm saying her name wrong. Love watching her videos. Oh, it's just, her voice is just so easy to listen to, man. She be having some long videos and I just be sitting there like, I need to learn how to make videos like you. Well, not like her, but like take some of the essence. You know what I mean? Anyway, she had a fan and I was like, I'm like, Amazon, click. So it's on its way. I'm excited about that. I was like, man, that makes a lot of sense. All right, then let's go back and I'm gonna go right back into that color. 
I don't know. This one right here, I ain't got time for that. That's why I was like, I don't really get caught up too much in color and all the name of the palette and all that stuff. Just use a flat brush. I need something to like make sure we're rubbing the shine on. There we go. Yeah, I don't want to dust it on. I want it to kapow down here. All right, let's spray it one more time. This looks good. I'm so glad I did this look. I think sometimes I confuse being going bold and bold meaning like bright colors, like, you know, like meaning like this is all dark, but this is like, brah, you know, like you don't always have to. I'm gonna switch up to this uh, oldie but a goodie LA colors. Bam. I'm telling you, you don't have a color in your collection that matches your skin tone. I don't care if it's a bronzer shade, pressed powder, whatever find one mm -hmm. i want to do this first you know what why not all right i'm gonna go in with this old foundation brush why not i should not use this much i know better i know better yo this concealer is like a whole lot every time i put it on i forget like how pigmented it is yeah this stuff <laughs> that's all you get that's all you getting no more i'm gonna wipe off this brush i, I was using it for concealer and I think this is where we can probably just go a little extra. Why not? This is kind of glittery, so ooh, that probably would have looked really nice on the inner, on the top part too. I'm gonna be go going a little bit of this. Just to kind of tone it down a bit there. We'll tone it down. You know what I mean? Make it a brighter color. I'm literally just tapping. Now we can blend this in. There we go. Let this give it some time to sit in there. All right, let's move on to foundation. I'm gonna be going in with the Light Illusions in Sable D1 from Flower Beauty. I just really like this foundation. And now, now that my everything is being cleaned, we're just, you know, we're gonna do what comes natural. I'm gonna use my hand. I'm gonna go in just a little bit more of my brows because I feel like they kind of lost some color on the way. This is the Burt's Bee All Aglow Bronzer and Bronzer Sprat. Bronzer Splash. I feel like I just need to leave that just for using on bare skin with no foundation. I feel like if you don't mind feeling moist, I feel like you would love this if you were a deeper skin tone, like more brown skin, deeper. Like I think this will give such a beautiful glow. Like if you want to focus it on this area here, yeah, just using all over as a bronzer, unless you like a bronzer that looks like that. If you do, you know, nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna use these two and mix them up. This one is Y445 and this one is Y505. That's a darker shade. There you go. Thing. This is what I was trying to accomplish. I'm literally like barely like tapping into this product. So FYI, I'm not just, psh, I'm using what's on the edge to like blend out those spaces that you know you don't want too much product. I can lightly build it up and make it look natural versus put the whole bunch on and, and now you're trying to fix it. And, mm -mm. I don't got time for that. I've been loving this blush and I'm surprised because I've never really been a burgundy person. Burgundy with clothes, burgundy with blanket. Um, not really burgundy with my lipstick or my blush. So for eyeshadow, I love it. So I'm saying all that to say is I've really been feeling this blush and I think it depends on the season. And matter of fact, this palette is now on sale. What side was that on? Was that Ulta? Yeah, it's $29. I think that's what I saw yesterday. All right, this is Be A Light from Becca. And I'm kind of like fascinated about their new foundation. I'm not gonna even sit here and be like, I'm not, I am. I don't know, I've just, I think I've just always liked Becca. Like their whole look, their campaign, even their models always just look nice and natural. All right, so I'm going in with this blush color here. It's very shimmery and I honestly, I never thought I would like a blush that was shimmery. I just didn't, I didn't, I didn't think that that would be me but I like the fact that it's still within the same family. It's very pretty. But I love the way it looks like skin too. More glow, not matte. And I'm kind of surprised because I'm usually a matte blush person. Let's go to the back. I've been trying to use this because I never reached for this. And I'm like, that's that's just kind of bananas. This is the Becca Opal highlight. I remember when this came out and this was like so popular. This and the um, Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. See, th this I can live with. I can live with that. Like I don't be liking that 
you can see the little glitter. I think that's probably what it is. Like I can see the glitter specks and it's like almost like the glitter spe specks cling to my little textured skin right there. And when I just wanted to really just give a glow, you know, what is an intense glow still? I don't want the, like that. I can see powder sitting off the skin. There's nothing natural about that highlight in my mind. If that's what you like, nothing wrong with that. I think I've gone through like every phase of liking a particular type of look. And then later on, it's like I return right back to wanting to keep it simple. All right, we're not done yet. We're going to go in with this Elf Deep Contour Palette, the top color right here. I'm telling you, stippling brushes, I just kind of forgot how good they were. I feel like stippling brushes are perfect because they really help you to blend it properly, especially if you're not a very patient person or you go in too heavy with the powder. It really, really makes it easier to blend. It just looks airbrushed. So I feel like if you struggle with that, something to consider. You don't have to. We're gonna go in with Honey Caramel from BH Cosmetics. Bring some skin tone back in here. And I'm not using it to set the under eyes at all. I've really been enjoying not setting my under eyes. Um, I don't know if it's just this concealer because I use you know other concealers underneath to make the the eyeshadow cling on, but overall, like, I don't know, I just, I think I like it much better because before it just looks so dry. Like, I don't like that powder look. Okay, I, I think we're good. I should have did this first before putting on the powder, but you know, before putting on the highlight, that is. So let's put a little bit of, you know what? No, we're not putting any more highlight. No, we're not. We're just gonna spray down because that's underneath that shoe bud come through. All right, and I think for the lips, I'm just gonna keep it simple. I need to buy some lipsticks. I think that's what that boils down to. I really realized that in that other video that I don't really have enough options to go with different um, with different eye looks because I'm so used to using like the same color scheme. I do have a red. Yeah, I think it's too bright though. Ooh, let's try it anyway. This is from Colored Rain. And this is Cherry Blossom Lip Paint. Now, one thing I will say, I did try this on once, and this is the wand, so nice. It's super moist, so, or wet. Mm, yeah, no, not this look. It's missing that burgundy look color. Yeah, no. And the funny thing is I haven't even re-dipped this in. Yeah, no. Ooh. Ooh, that'll make a nice lip stain. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That would make a really nice lip stain. Wow. I wouldn't have never thought to do that. I like this formula. So, cause you could wear it both ways. Not with the eye, but I like the look. What can we do to these lips? We're not going through this again. Too matchy matchy? What do y'all think? And I'm using the gel lip liner. Uh, from Wet n Wild and it's called Plum Together. Well, you can't say you can't create a look. I mean, it's kind of nice. I kind of like it. It's very monochromatic. And then let's lashes. This one might be dark enough. This is Milani Sugar Plum Eyeliner or Lip Liner. And this is darker. Wow. Yeah, this is darker. This is darker. I can live with that. Even though I look, love some brown. Lash Paradise. I'm just gonna rub out the mascara. And I thought let's just, I'm just gonna put eyeshadow on top of it. That's usually my way of cheating. You know what, I think my other favorite thing about this lip look too is that once the this liner fades, I'm still gonna be left with the lip stain on so it doesn't look like I don't have anything on. So I think that's my other favorite part. I really gotta look into this formula a little bit more. This is really cool. Technically that'd be like my first lip stain type product, even though that's not what it is but it is today. All right, so that's it for this look. I wanna say I'm totally happy with the way it turned out. I just feel like I need to practice this technique more and more. This blending and stippling type eyeshadow look and not being afraid to like go higher. I really need to practice on that, not being afraid to go higher with the eyeshadow so I can really give my eye shape because I have a lot of real estate right here in this section from my lid. So I really need to work on balancing it. And I think everything really depends on your eye shape. Yeah, it does. It depends on your eye shape because if you have less room, you don't really want to blend out like mad crazy and have nothing up here left to balance the look out. 
it's just something to kind of just pay attention to especially if you can find other people on youtube that have your eye shape and just watching how they apply makeup to the eye i mean there's so many people on here that you could definitely learn something from just by studying their placement anyway i hope you all enjoyed this video thank you for watching if you like this video don't forget to go ahead and give it a thumbs up so more people like you on youtube can find my channel here anyway thank you all so much for watching and i'll talk to you all soon bye Thank you.